All right, YouTube, we're gonna jump into the Fargo deck profile pretty soon here. But first, we're gonna talk about our sponsor, which is 50 Cards. If you haven't heard of 50 Cards already, it's an online website where you can pick up Vanguard singles, play mats, sleeves, deck boxes, whatever you need for Vanguard. And you can also pick up some bundles so you can make it easier to update your decks by getting full play sets of every single card you need for a specific nation. You can also get an additional 5% off when you use code Nexus. So with that, let's just go ahead and jump right into the deck profile, starting with the ride line. So the ride line is gonna be the same as how you'd expect it from most decks. It's gonna be the art art from what would have been the trial deck, but it's in the booster set. Uh, Blaze Ember, Dragon, um, Boulder Axe, and Fargra. So the whole idea is you go into Blaze Ember, which then going into Boulder Axe allows you to pull Blaze Ember out of the soul so you can call to the regard circle get a soul charge to feed into those soul blast costs and you get another beat stick because if you have a varga vanguard it gets an additional 2k which is really nice and so then after that you would be able to ride into varga dragress which is your main boss unit so pretty simple there uh, after you ride varga you can pull out boulder axe from the soul which is also really nice so being able to get off all those multi-attacks and having a whole board full of cards is always really helpful um, but yeah, let's just go ahead and jump right into the rest of the main deck. Starting off with the main deck, we got our three additional copies of Vargo Dragress because, you know, Persona Ride is really good. So Vargo Dragress's skill, because, you know, we didn't really get into it, is um, when it attacks a Vanguard, you can Counterblast 1 to retire both you and your opponent's front row rear guards, which then gives Vargo the ability to restand at the end of its battle with Drive minus 2. Its Divine skill, which you can use once per game, is if you have restood twice and your opponent's vanguard is at grade three and they have four more damage you can pay the counter blast to restand your vanguard to get drive plus two putting it back at twin drive and being able to get off a third vanguard swing you can only do it once per game but the whole point of the deck is to get off multiple vanguard attacks and beat face then we got three obduracy glaive dragon uh this card has a really cool ability where it can't be retired by your Vargas effect if it's in the front row, and it's the only copy of itself in the front row. It also has ability to be a booster, so being a 13k booster is also really nice. So this is still a really good card to keep around as a beat stick, a booster, just kind of help fill your board because you want to be able to push and have a lot of really big numbers. Then lastly, for grade threes, we are running the one Gratis Gradel just because Persona Ride does help the deck a lot because you're gonna give your Vanguard an extra 10K when it does multiple swings and your rearguards are gonna be doing some multi-attacks before your Vanguard swing as well. So it's still really helpful in case you don't have another copy of Vargra and you can still Persona Ride. So that's it for the threes. We're just gonna jump right into the twos right now. Grade twos are running four copies of Shura. Shura is really good because it allows you to bounce back other rear guards that are retired in your front row from Varga's effect. And it also has the ability that when it is retired by your Varga effect, you can kind of bless one to call it back to rear guard circle, give it an additional 10K for another additional swing for a multi-tack, which is cool. Four copies of Fall Heart. Fall Heart is like your Biscotti clone. It lets us uh, that when you discard it, you can counter blast or energy blast three to draw a card when you're ditching it for your ride deck. If you're Persona Road, you could also counter blast or E blast three to grab a grade one from your drop zone, call it to rear guard so you can fill up your board, which is nice. It also has the effect where when it's placed in the guard circle, you can E blast three to draw a card, which is cool. So it, it comes up and being able to refill your board and being able to use it for the ditching for your ride phase is nice so getting some resource out of it's always really good and then lastly is just three copies of boulder axe uh, so we're running the full playset. boulder axe is really nice because at the end of the battle um, that it attacked you can retire it to draw a card and it also gets an additional 5k so 15k beater 25 feet persona ride and you get to draw a card and you're eliminating your own front row anyways so it works out so i think you know Boulder Axe is still a really good card to run a full play set of. And the fact you can pull one out for free as you're going through your ride deck is also really nice. But that is it for the grade twos. So now we're moving on to the grade ones. I'm gonna start off with Impale Horn Dragon. Impale Horn is really good because it adds an additional 5K for whatever it boosts since your Vanguard's Vargra. And at the end of the battle that it boosted a Vanguard Vanguard, you can Soul Blast one to retire it to draw a card. And it gets an additional 2k so it ends up being like a 15k booster for your Varga Dragress and when you're doing your second Vanguard swing without any drive tracks having a really really big number can help with that so I do like that we got a good 15k booster 
and you know you can call it back using Fall Heart really easily. So it's a really good card. For some extra drawing, I'm running four copies of Midhat. So Midhat is was an Overlord specific card, but now we, it's really good for Vargra. It's whenever your Vanguard restands, you can retire it to draw a card. So after you boost with it, with either your you know rear guard columns or your Vanguard column, you can get rid of it after you stay in your Vanguard, get some resource out of it, which is nice, and you can bring it back with Fall Heart. Then I'm running three copies of Sehab or Shahab. So Shahab is really helpful for the ride deck. So what you can do with it is you can move it to soul when you're paying the cost to go into your ride deck to ride a new card instead of ditching a card. You can just move to soul and ride for free. I also do like the fact that it gets 5k just for placing it. So if you do call it back with Farhat, it's a good little 11k booster, but it's mostly for the early game rush because you want to be able to just hit your opponent with damage as early as possible since you're making those columns into your boulder axe turn, calling out the blaze ember, just throw down your hand, beat him, beat face, and you know get some early damage in. So being an 11k booster helps with that as well. And, and when it comes turn for you to ride a Vargar or Boulder Axe, you just move to Soul and ride for free, easy. So lastly for the grade ones, we got our one Elementaria and our three regular PGs, just because this is kind of the standard for decks these days. You can get away with the three regular PGs just fine. The Elementaria, the focus there is if your opponent's Vanguard does happen to have the twin drive ability, or sorry, triple drive ability, you can just pay the cost for free without having to discard. So it helps. You only allowed one Sanctitude in a deck anyway, so I think it's still really good to invest in if you don't have a copy already. So that was it for grade ones. We're now gonna go ahead and jump into our trigger lineup. So starting off, I'm just gonna go right into the over trigger. We're doing Edis Faro instead of Drag Veda because Vargo Dragress's effect specifies that you pay the cost first and you then restand when it attacks. So if after that first twin drive you get Drag Veda, the restand is kind of null and void, and it doesn't really matter, and you still lose the drive checks after your Vanguard restands. So it makes better sense to take advantage of Edis Faro's critical that it gives you, and also being able to add stuff when you drop back to your hand doesn't hurt. So Edis Faro is there because we want a ninth crit in our deck, and it gives 100 mil. So that could be a game changer right there. So speaking of crits, we're doing our Burning Flails and our Sunigo Siri. Suri? Sunigo Suri, am I saying that right? Uh, so eight crit, just so that we can have our full crits and, you know, Edis Faro, just for additional pressure. Flare Veil for draws. Draw. I like the draw triggers in this deck. Um, I know that there's a variant of this deck where you can run it with fronts um, if you were kind of slowing it down a bit, um, but I'm kind of playing a more aggressive version. So the draw triggers does help to fill your hand, throw your hand down, beat face in early. So that's why I like running the draws. And lastly, four heals. So that's pretty standard for most decks are just doing a traditional trigger lineup, but that is it for the main deck. I'm just gonna go ahead and real quick show you guys what like a little basic Varga combo is gonna look like. All right, so for this example, we're gonna be going into the Dragress turn. So we're just gonna start by ditching a card. So hopefully you have a far hat and you've got your three energy that you can deal with. Yes, I'm using the physical cards for this example for energy. So we're gonna ditch card. We're going to ride into our Varga Dragress, which then triggers our Boulder Axe. So then Boulder Axe goes off and you can call it to a rear guard circle. So you got a free beat stick, which is really cool. Far hat activates, you can energy blast three to then draw a card. That's good for Persona Ride next turn, nice. And then we got some pretty decent options for some board here. So Impale is gonna go in the, in the back because that's gonna be really good. And what else could we do here? If you had the additional energy, let's say you had three more to work with, you could use Shura and you could have Glaive in the back as a booster. And that way, when you use Shura's energy blast ability, you can bounce the Boulder Axe back to your hand, which can be really helpful. So let's say this is what we're gonna go with for starters. So we can start with the Shura, which will be a 25K column after we energy blast two to give itself 5K and then we choose the Boulder Axe to give it the ability to bounce back to your hand after it's retired. So then the Boulder Axe will swing since we have a Vargo Dragress Vanguard and it's gonna go to the drop zone after it battles. So we'll go ahead and make that another 28K column. It dies, we draw a card, and then after it dies because of Shura, we can bounce it back to our hand. So now when we go into our Vanguard swing, what I like to usually do, I like to start with it 
unboosted just because I like to save the boost for the Impale Horn Dragon afterwards. But it's up to you, depending on the situation, if your opponent got a damage trigger or not. So we'll counter blast to activate the on attack skill. So then we have to retire our front row rear guards. Your opponent's gonna do the same. And then we have the ability to restand at the end of the battle with drive minus two. Shura's ability is gonna activate, which allows us to counter blast to bring it back to, you know, let's just bring it back here for now. But now it gets an additional 10 and we got an extra swing to work with. Keep in mind, this is only gonna work if your opponent's Vanguard is at grade three. So if your opponent's Vanguard is at grade two, you won't be able to use Shura to that full extent. So it might be better just to use, you know, Boulder Axe and have a beat stick with Glaive just so that, you know, you can save the Shura for a later turn. But ideally, if your opponent is at grade three, you're gonna be doing this combo. So now we're gonna go ahead and do our twin drive. Got a heal trigger. We'll most likely apply the power to our Vanguard since our Vanguard's gonna lose some drive checks and maybe we're lucky enough to heal. Afterwards, our Vanguard's gonna restand with drive minus two. And now we've got a 23 plus 15K booster. So now that's gonna be 38 with no drive checks. Our opponent's gonna guard, you know, and then we can activate the ability of our grade one to then soul blast. Let it die and draw a card. And then afterwards, Shura is gonna swing for 20. Again, this is all depending if your opponent has damage triggers or not, but that was five attacks for the turn and a decent amount of hand afterwards. Um, so the whole point then is to keep going through with the game. Following turn, you get your, your three energy. Go ahead and Persona Ride and start making more columns. We can kind of do the same thing again. We can either put a Glaive down here or we can choose to do a Boulder Axe if we want hand. But let's say we're kind of pushing for game so we can do a Glaive for a beater. Glaive back here is a booster. Shura is gonna bounce back afterwards for some multi-attacking. So, and then where it gets really fun is if you're gonna do that full combo, swing small for 20, swing with Van, Vanguard skill, kill front row. Shura is gonna counter blast and come back with an additional 10K, so now it's 30. Vanguard's gonna get the twin drive off. We got a draw trigger, no crits there. Vanguard's gonna restand off that ability. Mahat's gonna die. You draw a card, get some hand back. Vanguard's gonna swing again, no drive checks. And then depending if you decide to, you can go ahead and do the divine skill to restand again for that third attack. So we're gonna be swinging for 33 since we got that drive trigger. Got a crit, got a draw trigger. So, and then we can either stack these on our van or stack them on our available rear guard circles. So this is a very, very, very aggressive, like beat face focused deck. And if you can time it really well, it gets really big and really explosive and it's a lot of fun. But that's pretty much it. That's how the deck works. That's the main Varger combo and how it's built. So I'm looking forward to showing you guys this deck and some gameplay videos, hopefully coming up in the near future. So stay tuned for that. And thanks for watching. My name is Richard and I'll see you all in the next one.